<laughs> Chicken. There were often times that I was left in awe during my time with Concrete Genie. It relies on a simple story that plays into undertones of depression, global climate change and of course childhood bullying. The game is set in the town of Denska which has now been abandoned and polluted. During the game you learn more about this town and how it came to be in the state it is in. The way the game unfolds is truly magical as newspaper articles and tidbits of backstory portray the once thriving town as a place anyone would like to grow up in. The game follows Ash, a shy young boy that has been emotionally afflicted by the town's ultimate downfall and often thinks about the memories he once shared with his family in specific locations of the town. Ash is an artist and draws doodles in his notebook. After an unfortunate incident with the town bullies, Ash loses all his pages in his book and he sets off to track them down. Calling it a wild imagination or Ash just being on a crazy pill, but his creatures, specifically Luna, come to life and aid him in his grand adventure thanks to the help of a magical paintbrush that brings anything he draws to life. Ash takes it upon himself to use these new powers that he has found to paint life back into the dark and dreary town of Denska and throughout Concrete Genie he evolves not only as a person but his artistic approach changes due to the new art forms he obtains. Thanks to Ash's encounter with the disturbed bullies, his notebook is now empty and every page you find is a new design for the masses of art you draw and paint in the game. The genie aspect of the game takes the form of creatures that you can create at specific points that aid you in his adventure. Nope. On the surface, Concrete Genie looks like a painting simulator, but it is much more than that. The goal of the game is to light up bulbs scattered around the town by painting near the wall that they are situated. This involves you solving puzzles to get to higher locations and into rooms previously locked by obstacles, avoiding the town bullies that are constantly chasing Ash and bringing creations to life as you expand on the designs available to the player. I'm out of super paint. Every page you collect fits into the category of the zone that you are painting. Each page in the book has a specific style from the first forest collection to the ice and even underwater. Every object fits into the look and feel of the section and you can go wild on the walls by painting as much as your heart desires. Placing down a waterfall, some seaweed and some dragonflies gave one wall a swamp look. Dropping some seeds that grew towering trees, painting a fireplace and some stars in the sky brought my forest creation to life. The possibilities are endless with a wide range of things to paint thanks to the various designs at your disposal. I went into an area with a mere two designs and as I explored the area I found more things to paint thanks to every page that you collect that floats around the area and the more walls to cover with the new sparkling designs. At times I would find a broken painting and use the designs that I had to bring it back to life. Copying the design, I would paint a rainbow, mushrooms and a few stars and it would unlock collectibles like artwork and concept art. The best part about it is the fact that a lot of Concrete Genie is optional but the sheer joy you get while painting and bringing the world back to life is so addictive that you'll find yourself doing more than just the objective. Ah, there we go. Finished. Always wish they'd gotten to open those gardens up. Ash's genies also play a vital role in the game's mechanics as they are attached to the wall that you create them on and I had to use their special abilities to overcome challenges. You can draw these genies as freely as you wish using preset body parts including tails, ears and even body shape. Once they come to life they will stay with you throughout the game and accompany Ash throughout the adventure. These genies are also Ash's key to progression as they help him solve puzzles. The red genie can breathe fire to burn objects, the yellow genie is electricity and can turn on cranes and even be used to link between wires and the blue genie can blow objects across the area and act as a movement tool for Ash. The puzzles are not extremely hard at all but they are a nice break from the constant painting you undertake in the game. The most challenging part for me was discovering how to call your genies over to your location which I completely missed during the tutorial. Okay, stay right there. The genies also offer unique painting puzzles where they will request a specific design to be drawn on the wall. I had to copy these designs one for one and unlocked concept art for doing so. Throughout the game, Ash comes into contact with the town bullies that are really a set of nasty children. However, you learn why they are so off-putting and slowly the entire game's message is just about sharing happiness and overcoming childhood pressure. These bullies often get in the way as Ash can never let him see him and they tend to vandalize his work too. 
A simple repaint over the damaged art fixes the problem however. Concrete Genie is extremely satisfying to play. You use the motion controllers on the DualShock 4 to move your paintbrush around and the R2 button to paint. Flicks of the control result in a satisfying quick draw of whatever object you're trying to paint and dragging it across the wall will copy a certain design. Each design has a specific way to paint it and after a few hours into the game I mastered them all. I was always surprised to see how my creations came to life by simply painting a couple of things on the wall. The overall art style means everything is so bright and beautiful. Later in the game, Ash unlocks new combat abilities he needs in order to fight off the darkness that has come to life in the town. The combat is simple and relies on you paint skating around the area and using red, blue and yellow attacks on enemies, but it is a fulfilling experience given that up to a point you just think you're going to spend the whole game painting. You can then heal these enemies and turn them back into friendly genies by sneaking closer to them while they are calm. It is a great break from the painting and a very fun way to spend your time. Okay, nice and slow. Concrete Genie is not without its flaws. As much as I try to embrace the bullies, they came across annoying and extremely cliche. Sort of like here. a bunch of kids from a low budget Hollywood film where the shallow characters were the only thing they could afford to write up. I get it, they are all disturbed kids, but they are all annoying and one dimensional. I would have loved to see them expanded on a bit more than just them writing Ash the Trash on the wall. I guess there's a reason they're so mean. The game lasts around 6-7 to seven hours depending on how much you love painting everything in sight and after that you can head into free paint mode to take all the designs you have unlocked and draw a masterpiece. There's also a load of collectibles to find and puzzles to solve which give the game that extra laugh. Concrete Genie also features a VR mode where a player can use the motion controllers and enter two game modes. One is a 2D free paint mode where you can paint anything you wish across some preset locations. The other is a 3D painting mode where you get to create a three dimensional landscape for splotch. It is a load of fun to do and looks great on the headset. Concrete Genie is a short but sweet adventure. Its painting features are easy to master and extremely fun to use and there was nothing more satisfying than bringing the town of Denska back to life one district at a time. Do I wish it was a bit longer? Yes. But the time I spent with the game was enjoyable and I'll most likely go back and collect all the other goodies and paint every single wall available. We give Concrete Genie an 8.5 out of 10. Luna? <laughs> but that's all our thoughts on Concrete Genie. What do you think? Are you looking to pick it up? Let us know down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, farewell.